prima di tre As you usually you, you run the first cell, uh, be sure that to be in the in your OMS project, you can set in the folder data cavone. And here you can see the, the folder of your for your submission, so folder number one, two, up to seven. And you can run uh, this function where the first argument uh, is the number of submission, number is seven. And the second one uh, is the first part of the name uh, of the precipitation file in this folder, in the folder of your subdivision. That is, uh, uh, in our case, uh, is uh, precip underscore. Now this function uh, handles with, uh, is a loop, a for loop. Uh, So it uh, loop over the, the folder from 1 to 7, open the precip underscore uh, CSV file, uh, change the negative value to 0 and save uh, this new file with the same name. And once you have uh, run this, this uh, function, uh, you have done. Of course, this notebook. Uh, Uh, is meant to use uh, just with the precipitation. When you interpolate the uh, temperature, you should not have this problem because you can have negative values for that. So uh, now you can uh, do the creasing for the, the temperature. So you can start from the temperature CSV file that you can find in the folder data cavone. You can prepare a notebook to visualize the data, the measured data. You can start from the notebook zero, copy this one, and uh, change uh, some what is uh, what has to be changed. And then you can uh, run the experimental diagram, compute the average of the experimental diagram, and what you have done at this moment. And if you have problems or questions, you are here only until 6.